Hey what is going on guys, it's CK here and today I want to talk to you about drifting. Now you all know I love drifting and I know you do too, heck it's the reason I started my channel. For me there's nothing better than just sitting back with a couple of cans and a few mates and stuff, listening to some proper good music and just drifting around. It is so much fun to do. But what good is it having music blaring and your tires shredding if you don't have anywhere to actually do it? Well, I'm here to help you. These are my top five drift sections in Forza Horizon 2. We begin with a section that not many people know about because it's one I made up. Even though this is my creation, it's one hell of a fun place to just let your inner hoonigan out. With grass and wide open areas all round, even the most inexperienced drifter can get sideways without worrying about careering into 500 year old Italian buildings. Just keep an eye out for them pesky driver tours though because they're pretty edgy in this area. Now this is certainly the longest section on the list but it loops around to become somewhat of a circuit. There's several never ending bends which can easily get round smoking all of them tyres. That's if you can control the throttle that is. There's also some sharp hairpins, normally with some AI cars on them going about their own business. So therefore, they make for some pretty interesting obstacles to dodge. I don't go up here that often, but when I do, I'm normally testing out like handlings of the cars and stuff, but every time I drift on this section, it reminds me that this is the dark horse of any drifting section in Forza Horizon 2. Located at the northwest section of the map, this section is on the very edge of the pretty little town of Sisteron. This has to be the closest to a proper mountain road in the game. It reminds me of the hairpins of the famous Col de Turini in France. It also provides you with some stunning views with the ocean beneath you and the mountains that go right on into the horizon. Ha! <laughs> Get it? Horizon? That's the game? Ha 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 ha! Anyway, shut up. There's also a cool little roundabout at the bottom, so you can just rip that e-brake, do a donut or two, or three, and then set off back up again. But if you just need a chill out session after many runs up and down the amazing hairpins, or you just want to show off your car to your friends, then there is a sweet parking lot nearby for you to do so. The only complaint I have about this road is that it feels as if it could have been something a whole lot better. Bigger, taller, with more hairpins to make it feel like a proper mountain road. That's why it's only at number 4 on the list. If it was the equivalent of the Stelvio Pass, then it would have crawled up a couple of places. But what can you do? Here's hoping in FH3 that Playground dig deep on bringing in some epic initial D type shit. So at number 3 we've got another contender in the favour of Castelletto, and that is the gorgeous Shoreline section. We all know this one, I mean it was in the first trailer for Forza Horizon 2, and in the intro cinematics for that matter. With one of the most iconic corners in the whole game, the Shoreline section is perfect if you want to have ocean air flowing through the cockpit whilst ripping up some rubber on a nice sunny day. A tunnel's even flung in there too, to let your ears indulge themselves in all the delicious exhaust notes. Only if there was anti-lag in this game. Also, this is one of the narrowest routes for drifting in the game, so make sure to keep that in mind before you mash the pedal. So I'm sure it may seem that the Castelletto Shoreline has everything you want, and yeah that's true, it does. But this is my list of my favourites, and while this section is great, there are two more which whet my appetite even more. On the bottom left of the map, we have the docks. There are many impressive and fun sections which you can create in this area, but I'm going to concentrate on the one that me and my friends get sideways on. You begin at the south centre of the docks next to a massive crane looking thing. Yeah, that. Then drive straight until you see the big lamp post, then that's when you want to get the bitch sideways, or else it's instant death by crates. This is a brilliant section because it offers everything from long swooping right and left handers, to test your capabilities of holding a massive slide, to tight quick steering segments where you need to kick the clutch to help you out. But the best part, if you pull it off right, is the double donut at the end. Rolling off that ramp and nailing the perfect angle to get you around the middle metal stand is just the best feeling ever. Well except maybe the feeling of hearing the Lexus LFA's V10 at full chant. It's definitely a classic in my books, 
but there is only one that can take the crown, and this isn't it. Let's be honest here, you knew this was coming, by far the most popular one in the whole game, my number one, the niece section. Just, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> I can't count how many hours I've actually spent on the streets of Nice at this specific location. It's as if an angel of the drifting world has just spread magic dust everywhere on this one. It's truly mesmerizingly good. Now, I agree, it may not be as visually stunning as, say, the Castellito shoreline or even the docks, but you simply cannot deny that this has been carved together to make a drifter's paradise. If you like endless long sweeping corners to do endless slides on, you can do that here. If you like elevation changes, you get that here. And if you're looking to do some suicide drifting, this is the ideal place for you. I just can't sum up fully in words to describe the feeling of being in this place. It's the holy grail for everyone who is a fan of drifting. And that is why it earns my most infamous title, my personal favourite drift section in Forza Horizon 2. So thank you for watching my video guys, it is much appreciated if you do leave a thumbs up and yeah, just lets me know that you guys are enjoying the videos and also subscribe to the channel as well if you want to see some more from me. Also let me know in the comments below what do you make of the list, do you agree, do you disagree, I know some people out there are not going to be happy. But yeah, you can't please everyone, can you? So also, if you want to get a hold of me off of YouTube, then my Facebook and Twitter page is always there. Links are down in the description below. And if you just want to chat with other car people, then join my Petrolhead Paradise Facebook group. But for now, guys, I'll see you tomorrow as always. Peace.